Hello and welcome to another edition of SprueCam Tutorials brought to you by SprueCam America. In this tutorial we're going to be using the the new tutorial part from um, beginning tutorials 1, 2, and 3 and we are going to do a waterline roughing procedure on this part. So I have the part oriented correctly for machining and I have my origin right here at the top of the part. And now what I'm going to do is define a workpiece for this part. So I'm going to go to my machining tab and there is a workpiece generated but I'm going to change a little bit of it. So I am going to go to my workpiece tab, click on primitive, and then add a box around the part. And here is our box around the part. I'm going to double click on that. And in the items property box, I'm going to add 100 thousandths of stock to X and Y. But for Z, in the negative Z, I'm going to add nothing. And in the positive Z, I'm going to add 10 thousandths. And I'm going to click down here so you can look at the box prior and as soon as I click OK that extra stock went around the outside and there is a bit of stock let's look at our front view there's just ten thousandths of stock above all right so now I'm going to create a waterline roughing procedure so we're going to go to create, we're going to pick roughing and waterline. Now with waterline, essentially Sprucam will recognize as much of the geometry as possible and will try to cut away as much of the workpiece as it can to a specific depth. If you leave that depth unchecked right now, I could actually hit run and you will see when it's done calculating that it figures to go all the way down to the bottom of this part. Well, we would be normally um, hanging on to this part with this uncut section of workpiece. So what we are going to do is tell SprueCam to only go about three quarters inch deep on this, okay? So let us um, set up the parameters for this. So we'll double click roughing waterline. And we're going to go to our tool. And a half inch roughing end mill is exactly what I want to use for this. And that happens to be the one that's active. Now we're going to go to feeds and speeds. And let's say this is a plastic block, so I'm going to pick 5,000 RPMs and 90 inches a minute if this was plastic. Look at our lead in, lead out. We're going to put our safe level of 50 thousandths. We'll go to our parameters. And now we're going to change the bottom level right here to read negative 0.75. Now I'm going to keep 10 thousandths radial and 10 thousandths axial stock and I'm going to take this in six passes so almost an eighth of an inch deep all right go to our strategy oops some are inner and outer very east and we have to set this deviation so it's a thou Go to our strategy, and I'm not going to really do anything different in strategy. I'm just going to click OK. And now I'm going to click Run. And the toolpath is going to generate. And you can see it's only going down to the bottom of that block. Now we will give this a good color to see. So we will double click on the color 
and let's pick um, that blue color. Go OK. Go to simulation. I'm going to regenerate our block so it's all, all the work pieces there. And we're going to go ahead and hit play and let's watch what SprueCam does. Now remember that waterline roughing and waterline finishing, while they may, they're very good um, at what they do, however, there is wasted movements. So they are not going to be the most economical um, operations to run, but they will be probably some of the easiest operations to run where you won't have to select a lot of things. I didn't even have to select the faces because SprueCam just automatically figures out the geometry that you have on the screen. So it's going down now to about three quarters of an inch. Going to do as much of this geometry as it can. And that's it. So we have the first half of this tutorial block roughed out. In the next tutorial, I'm going to finish this top of the block. So look for beginning tutorial six, and that'll do the finishing. I hope you enjoyed this one. Thanks. Goodbye.